Hello wonderful people. In one of my videos, a user named Stay at Home Girl asked me a couple of questions to help her improve her teaching skills when it comes to online. And because of her username, I checked out her profile and saw that she actually does a lot of teaching stuff. And that got me an idea. So this video is gonna be an answer to the question I had in my head, which is, can OBS be used as a teaching tool? And apparently, it can. And this video is a tutorial on how to do that or how you could use OBS as a teaching tool. This is gonna be a new series called OBS for Teaching. And we're just gonna make a lot of videos involving that. And this video is gonna be how to um, present your PowerPoint presentation or slides in OBS and use it on a live setting or in a recording setting. So let's get this started. So here we are in OBS and now let's show you how to do this thing where you can use OBS as a teaching tool for either your calls or if you want to record this and send that video to your students. So first of all, you need to go on PowerPoint and here are your slides. It can be four by three or 16 by nine. But for me though, if you really want to make use of the space as possible, make sure it's on a 4x3. Here you are in a 4x3 aspect ratio. Now the first thing you need to do is go on to slideshow. And then click up set up slideshow. Click this browse by an individual window. So that this will not go to full screen once you start the slideshow. You just press OK. And now... All you need to do is just do the slideshow. So now you have this. So let's just go back to OBS. And in here in OBS, uh, the basics is simple. You have here the scenes, which is your different scene. Like example, if it's on a school, we have the classroom scene. We have the scene of you just talking. We have a scene of a principal's office. Just, that's just the most basic thing I can explain. Sources is what's within the scene. So example, if we have to rename this as camera, that means that in these sources within the scene will be a camera of me. That means I'm just gonna talk. So now let's just add a, a video capture device. Name this as webcam. Then just choose your webcam. Mine is integrated webcam and then just click on OK. And you can resize this to however you want. But I prefer to resize it at full screen. Because this is a scene where only you will be talking. The second thing is you need to add here another scene which is called presentation. So on presentation, first thing you need to add is a window capture name this as powerpoint so this is going to be a powerpoint source and it actually already captured it because the only window it, it sees is powerpoint so that's why that's the reason why i set this as a window instead of a full screen because of the window capture if it's full screen it won't capture this so you can tick this if you want check this if you want to show your mouse cursor when you're um, doing the PowerPoint side, it's good because you can treat your mouse pointer as like a, a laser pointer. So I would enable that if I want to. And then just resize it to however you want. Again, this is a 4x3 so we need to save the space so that you can still add your camera on it. So in order to do that, we need to hold the Alt key. And then if you see this squares up on the each of the corners, there's an arrow. So just click that, hold, and then just drag it so that you can crop the video. I mean the PowerPoint slide. Even the controls, just crop it like that. And now you can you have there um, your presentation. You can resize it however you want. If you want this to be centered, you can just right click then find transform and then click on center to screen so now we have that the next thing we need to add is your face so usually 
you can just copy this or add another webcam but to make this much easier just click on add scene and then add the camera scene and it's basically a copy so you can drag this down and then just place it however you like to make this better we can also do the same thing as we did on the powerpoint just click just press the alt key and just drag it in place and now you have that and we can arrange it like this and now we have this our powerpoint presentation on the right and then your face on the left so that you can still interact with the students while at the same time their students can look at the presentation so that they won't get bored with just looking at the presentation itself they can still look at the screen because they will also notice you and to know how these layering things work um whichever goes the the higher levels is the one that goes on top so imagine it like a sandwich so if i if i put the camera behind the powerpoint which is under the powerpoint and then i just resize it as you can see look it's covered because again i tr treat this like a sandwich whichever goes on top is, is what you're gonna be seeing there and when the camera is on top of the powerpoint then they say yeah that, that's what happens so i prefer to have the camera on top and then just resize it to probably here if you want to we're almost done guys so you, you can see there's like dead space here on the black area so if you want you can add an image just click on image there and then browse if i can look for an image you know what i'll just use this it's too big though see as you can see it covers the entire screen and so after doing that just drag it on the bottom and now you have some sort of design so that it won't feel plain and you can pretty much just restore down obs and then click file and then tick always on top what this does it it makes sure that even if you click on any other window it won't um overlay this because it, if i disable this and just click here look it's gone and then you you have to alt tab it back so i like to make it always on top so that i can just click on the screen on the presentation just click next because you can still see it on your preview on obs so it doesn't matter if this part won't get shown to you because you already have the preview on obs and now the next step is importing it into zoom or in um google meet so yeah let's do that now let's just put a new meeting and then create an instant meeting and usually when you open a meeting it looks like this um let's just open settings usually on your video it goes on like your integrated webcam and it will show your integrated webcam but it won't if you're using the integrated webcam it won't show up here because you're using it on obs so it won't be it won't be <laughs> shown in two applications at once by the way i don't know why i'm wearing my headset so what you need to do is open on settings and then first of all is your microphone so set up your microphone i already have mine set up and then on video you just click on camera and then click on obs virtual camera if this wasn't shown then you have to go to obs and then click on start virtual camera so what start virtual camera means is that everything here is gonna be turned into a webcam source so you can just go on to camera and then click on obs virtual camera and then it's gonna start and then just click x and there now you're you're actually wondering why is it mirrored isn't that pretty much unusable well it's mirrored like that because um google meet does that but when people join your call it's not gonna be like that it's gonna be the same thing as it is in obs so i'm just gonna show you right now on my phone 
and as you can see um i have it here on my phone and it works it's not what you're looking at here it's very much mirrored so even if you look at it like this what this person sees is you can see on the phone i don't know where i will edit this but on my phone here it is it's shown that it's actually um placed on how you liked it to be placed so yeah no no problems there and that's pretty much it so when you go on to um like obs and then go on to your powerpoint you can just slide it by the way this is just a random powerpoint that i i opened <laughs> So there you have it and now you can do that. So when you go into camera, that's where you just want to do the introduction of yourself as a teacher, talk about yourself, talk about the topics you're gonna learn today and then just click on presentation and then there. You also have to make sure that everything here is locked so that you won't accidentally move some sources. And that's that's just it. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. So don't forget this vir virtual camera, okay? Maybe you're gonna ask people like, why is it not showing? And you forgot to turn on virtual camera. There you have it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video and learned something from it, please leave a like. If if you want more topics like this, uh, click 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 that subscribe button. Be Put comments down below if you have more questions and if you have any um, ideas or um, anything that you need to know that I can help with anything when it comes to media. So, yeah. Thank you.